Today is a good day because I found an AI writer that I will use over and over again. It's not just an AI writer. It's got some amazing features I've not seen anywhere else before. And it does that holy grail. It can write complete blog articles. Uh, I found it on Captera. Let's just jump to that for a second. Here it is, the site that reviews all software. And in A writing software, it appears number two. Uh, 4.8 out of 5 on the reviews, really positive reviews. And I think the only, if you look at all these softwares, it appears above that are quite well known. I think the only reason it's not number one is possibly it's not quite got the multi language um, capabilities just yet. But that's where I found it. Just before we jump in and show you everything that ScaleNut can do, have a look in the description. There is a seven day free trial. And it's not just a free trial where you can only use limited features you can use all of the features in the pro version and it's quite generous with the words you get 5,000 words per day to try it out so i suggest you uh, try the free trial click on the link in the description and try it for seven days and if you love it you can give me a like on my video let's jump in and let's have a look at scale nut Okay, so here is ScaleNut, here's the dashboard, here is where you start. And like all of these programs, when you use them for the first time, they can be quite daunting because there's so much that you can be doing. Uh, but what I like about ScaleNut is that it gives you um, getting started with ScaleNut and things that you should do at first. So it says you should create, try creating a blog in five minutes with cruise mode, uh, generate an SEO report, explore the AI tools, use the AI templates, include the content grade, and the topic clusters. Now, um, we are going to try and create a blog in five minutes. All right, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and then we'll probably try and improve the content grade of it as well. So, and I'll probably make a series of videos going through everything on scale not, but just, just to show you this. So the keywords I want to rank for are reviews or, I'll, or let's make it software reviewer. Okay, and I want to rank in the uh, United Kingdom. So let's press start. And now it's going to, I'm going to pause this now, and it's going to be a brief description of what I want to write an article about that's going to do well, be high scoring SEO that looks and reads well. I'm back. I didn't want to waste time. You just watching me type away. Uh, so I've just put my paragraph in now, and it suggests that your topic you're going to write about. Um, you, you do up to 500 characters. So I've just said I'm a software review who gives honest appraisals of software for entrepreneurs, small businesses or influencers. I love software that saves me time and or money. And I've also the additional keywords is soft, uh, software demonstration and software demo. OK, so I am going now. So it reckons that a good article to include those words would be around 800 to 1000 words. So let's go next. And it's automatically going to create a title here are the top ranked titles software review on wikipedia software reviews discover the best business software there's the top one so i am going to try and do something similar to that generate some more so i wasn't happy with any of them sometimes when i do these i go oh yeah that'll do but i wasn't too so the best software to save you your, your time how i became a software reviewer so this is about me being a software reviewer not telling other people how to become a software reviewer um best software to save you time and money as a freelancer or business owner that'll do yep and it's generating headlines review of the best time set time and money saving software we'll have that one oh so this is doing everything here i can have another headline uh let's see some more Accelerate and improve. I'm adding all of these onto the list. Is that right? Yep. So it's giving me headlines for my article. Popular software categories. We'll have those. And then frequently asked questions. Yeah, we'll have that one. Yep. Yeah. Where's the best deals? Best for billing. Yeah, we can have that one. So you can see that it's formula. I'm loving this software. Um, obviously, there's been lots of AI writers, but this is actually using cruise control to create a full article that's fully format formatted with the introduction, um, with other headlines and frequently asked questions and a conclusion. So are you ready? Let's go to next. I think it's going to start writing it now. 
So, OK, so here we go. It's going to do some writing points. So review of the best time saving software. Yeah, we'll have that. Next steps. Find the right software. Yeah, we, we're happy with them. Accelerate, improve your software selection process. Utilize cloud based solutions. Mm -hmm. Choose the right software for your software for your job. Use automation. So, yeah, I'm happy with all of this. But if I wanted to get rid of one, popular software categories. If I wanted to d dump that, just press delete. And we'll leave the rest in. So now we click next. It's going to write the first draft now. It's writing the first draft. It's populating it. Can you see that as I speak here? Now, do not fear. I know it, can, it says content grade E there. Don't worry. Because we're going to try and improve that now. So we are right within the word count there. But we're on an E and we want to try and improve that. So we click next. And there is our article. Uh, the best software to save you time and money as a freelancer is software that helps you both. This blog is all about reviewing the best time saving and money saving software. I'll be covering different software categories, including software for entrepreneurs. That is what I wanted to say. I mean, I can change it about if it doesn't make sense or if I want to change it slightly. But that is the gist of what I wanted to say. So now I'm going to export it to editor. OK. And I want to improve this score. Here. I want to get that E up better. So how do I do that? Well, key terms. Email is not appearing in it. So we're going to include email. Now watch this now. This is where I was impressed or I am impressed. Because it's just inserted email into the list. We want software reviews to appear in the list. So we click that. These are key terms that we want to appear in our article or the AI says we do. And did you see what happened there? So it is changed the article. It is improved. It's, it's included the key phrase software reviews. And now my content grade score has gone up to D. I want to include the word reviewer. So we'll click on that again. And it takes a bit of time this, but it's fine. And it's taken the content score up to C. So you can see that the more you play with this, the more time you spend adding those words. Because AI isn't quite perfect yet, once you've got your completed article, read through it. Do a bit of old school editing and change it about. But in, I would think, yes, less than five minutes, we have created a thousand word article that we can then either export as a PDF or a document. We can copy and paste into our blog post. We can share it with other members of our team or even give them access so that they can change it as well. Um, and we've created an article. We will do more videos on Scale Nut. I'm going to jump out now. Wait a second. Uh, we will be covering all of the AI tools. Just let me show you very quickly in this video uh, the AI tools that are available. Just let me show you this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean I meant the AI templates. So there are a plethora of templates. There's the one we used before, create a blog in less than five minutes. But product descriptions, e-commerce product descriptions, answering questions, uh, paragraph generator, you can rewrite sentences, put a sentence in if you want to rework it and reuse it again, uh, create your blog title. So like all of these AI softwares, uh, you can just about create everything. Video titles, video descriptions, uh, catchy email subject lines, Google description. You see, so um, it's got all of that. But what I love about ScaleNut that stands out for me is the way that it'll just write that full article. That's where a lot of the AIs are missing. So let's jump out just for a minute. There's going to be more videos on ScaleNut, but I'll tell you what I think about it. And I am very excited because I use some of these AI writers and I just don't quite get them. Whereas I felt with ScaleNut that just using that create blog in five minutes and a few of the other features that we'll get into in later videos, that there is something that I can use now. And the proof was in the pudding in the, the articles it is creating. I'm thinking, yeah, that's ba that's more or less there. You know, compared to some of them where I'm thinking, nah, that just doesn't really make sense. Sure, 
read through the article, make some subtle changes, make it look really good, that it's not been written by artificial intelligence. That's the goal, isn't it? That you want it to look like you've actually created the article yourself. So I am recommending it. Have, you, have a look in the description link. That link will give you a seven-day free trial. And on that seven-day free trial, you get 5,000 words a day. And you can try everything that I've tried out here. You can try all of the features. It's not limited. So do click on that link. And um, hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy it as much as me. Hopefully, you'll follow me as well. Uh, click the notification button. If I ever find any good deals on software, I put them up very quickly. So if you click that notification button, you'll get a little email saying... Phil's got a brand new video about this and I will see you with another review and more on scale, not really soon.